Hello dear friends and subscribers of Cricket Happenings. Welcome to this edition of the Cricket Happening Show. And well dear friends and subscribers, you all know what I'm going to talk about. Well, it's the Indian Premier League Finals today between King Suleiman Punjab and the Kolkata Knight Riders. King Suleiman Punjab are looking out for their maiden IPL title. Kolkata Knighters have won it once. And today, Kolkata Knight Riders has won it twice. As today, they had, uh, there was one great match which was enacted. And it was a real, real worthy final uh, that happened in front of huge fans at the Chinnaswamy Stadium in Bangalore where Kolkata Knight Riders very very close match winning the match by uh, by a margin of uh, three wickets it's not the margin of three wickets but Pius Chavla in the penultimate over of uh, Mitchell Johnson cracked him for a six and that really came out of the blue uh, and I'm sure um, everybody would have been just zapped when Pius Chavla hit that six and that was what really, really enabled the Kolkata Knight Riders finally to win the match. But, uh, well, definitely one has to talk about Manish Pandey's knock. There is no doubt about it. Uh, that was a wonderful knock that he played, uh, which I'll talk about. But let me tell you, Indian Premier League 2014 has finally ended with Kolkata Knight Riders going on to take their second, con second title in Indian Premier League. Uh, Indian Premier League matches and now they are the champions of the Indian Premier League Kolkata and Idol. so congratulations to them and as far as um, Insul and Punjab were concerned well today they had a blinder of an innings played by Riddhiman Saha the way he attacked the spinners was absolutely wonderful to see using his feet well and he was going through with his shot and he was hitting through the line and he did that precisely well to score the first century uh, by, by by any player in an Indian Premier League final, and what an I mean, even even after scoring a century, uh, this Kolkata Knight Riders still proved uh, pretty strong. I mean, uh, in the sense they really really uh, proved that uh, they, they 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 were they were a notch above uh, the uh, Kings Eleven Punjab. So Kings Eleven Punjab has to still wait for their first title in the Indian Premier League. Well, let's have a look at the match here. Now, just uh, talking about the match proceedings, as I said, uh, the ma uh, let me just first take you to the very interesting situation uh, as to how this match was a really, really worthy final. Well, the equation was 199 was uh, made by King Salon Punjab batting first, and then Kolkata Knight Riders in the 19th over uh, the equation was 15 runs required from 12 deliveries. Johnson was the bowler and with the second delivery uh, he got the wicket of Surya Kumar Yadav as um, uh, Johnson bowled to Yadav and Yadav tried to pull it down the leg side and deep mid wicket took the catch so he was gone so that was uh, a very nicely bowled by Mitchell Johnson uh, showing absolute change of pace and Shiresh Yadav uh, was absolutely defeated. So, uh, so Surya Kumar Yadav was gone for five and after that Pius Chavla came in and Pius Chavla well he couldn't uh, he got one run then there was no run and then uh, Nadim came to the crease and took one run but now uh, the equation as I said was 15 required from 12 uh, they got two runs of the first ball then they lost Surya Kumar Yadav's wicket and then they got another two runs and four runs were required, four runs had come, so that essentially meant that 11 runs were required. And 11 runs, uh, you know, is also, uh, even though you feel only 11 runs in a T20 match, but uh, you never know uh, what would happen in the end. But Piyush Chavla really, really surprised everybody, because what he, uh, I mean, uh, what he did, uh, he trusted himself, and when Johnson bowled, um, Chawla went full tilt in the sense uh, it, it was not I mean he was not in the uh, best position I would say it was not a full shot uh, which was executed with lots of grace or something but Piyush Chawla just took his chance as uh, um, Johnson decided to bowl short and Chawla sent him a rose over the deep backward square like boundary what a shot that was and I think that was the real turning point 
because if the child and that um, that ball uh, sailed over the fence for a six and suddenly uh, there i mean the kolkata night riders who are requiring uh, 11 runs suddenly the equation came to just five runs required from the last over and uh, uh, george bailey the uh, kings eleven punjab uh, had a real uh, you know a sort of a, he was in a, a real sort of a, sort of a question mark as to who to bowl at that particular time uh, he had act- actually exhausted all his bowlers and then he had to turn to uh, turn to a bowler who had leaked 38 runs in the first 3 overs it was none other than parvinder ravana uh, who was given the final the final over the first ball was a good one it was a yorker uh, parvinder ravana Uh, uh, uh bowled to narin and narin uh, uh, dug the ball to cover but the second delivery that avana bowled to narin uh, well uh, it was uh, uh, flicked by uh, narin uh, but uh, bailey couldn't really stop it and in the end there was a single for sunil narin so still the match was still on uh, the spectators were absolutely uh, glued to their seats uh, and uh, one was waiting to see uh, avana bowl to chavla and definitely there was an expectation but uh, no one thought that you know chavla would uh, bring up the victory so quickly as uh, this was i, I would also say uh, and not um, i wouldn't say i mean low full toss is normally a good ball to bowl uh, but uh, well uh, chavla managed to actually uh, put it through the point region for a boundary and that was the win for the kolkata night riders as kolkata night riders won the indian premier league 2014 by beating the kings 11 punjab by 3 wickets and as i said that six which was hit of the bowling of johnson uh, was the turning uh, thing in this particular uh, match because if probably piyush chawla would have been kept quiet probably the single or something then there would have been uh, lots of pressure but uh, uh, let me tell you one thing that everyone uh, wants something like this to happen Uh, as as far as uh, till now we have seen that the indian premier league matches have been pretty exciting and when it comes to the final uh, this is what all the spectators expect at the ground and that's what precisely happened as i said uh, it was a truly truly a uh, true final uh, which was uh, played between the kolkata night riders and the kings eleven punjab now let's have a look at the score card and see what really happened well Uh, the match started uh, in front of some huge fans at the Chinnaswamy Stadium in Bangalore. Uh, Kolkata Knight Riders were the ones who won the toss, and they decided that they will put the Kings Eleven Punjab to bat. Well, their, 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 the 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 decision that was taken uh, was uh, by Adam Gambhir uh, was immediately repaid as Virendra Sehwag was the first wicket to go, as Umesh Yadav uh, picked this wicket. It was caught by Gambhir for seven. and then manan vora uh, then we saw a sort of a, a change in the batting order today we saw george bailey uh, the kings eleven punjab walking in for a change so definitely they had sort of a game plan for the final and they decided and george bailey the captain was walking out so george bailey joined manan vora manan vora was looking pretty good he was playing fluently but uh, the the promotion uh, that was done by george bailey uh, to come as one drop uh, drastically failed as sunil narin uh, clean bowled him for one and that made the score 30 for 2 and that really really put a lot of pressure on the kings 11 punjab so now it was ridiman saha the wicket keeper batsman coming in and joining manan gora uh, well they the, it all started with uh, manan gora and ridiman saha uh, slowly trying to settle themselves uh, initially but suddenly there was a real explosion of runs with uh, in, in in five overs uh, we saw 73 runs coming in and uh, suddenly there was a real explosion of runs manan vora well he was definitely uh, playing some fluent strokes he was also uh, pulling some boundaries some sixes but ridiman saha was according to me a real surprise package yes we all know that ridiman saha has been has been had an excellent uh, indian premier league 2014 but one never thought that ridiman saha would go on to make an unbeaten 115 of just 55 deliveries with 10 fours and 8 sixes thus becoming the first person 
in an Indian Premier League final to score a century. What a record and what a, I mean, look at Ridhiman Saha, what he did to the spinners, especially considering that Sunil Nareen, in, in fact, I uh, once saw Ridhiman Saha uh, really first giving the treatment to Mone Morkel by hitting him for sixes. Then after that, Ridhiman Saha, in a space of two overs, collected 63 runs, uh, courtesy of um, uh, hitting uh, Sunil Nareen for 30 yard runs and then turning his attention towards Piyush Chavla and carting him for another 30 runs. Almost 63 runs were gathered by Ridhiman Saha with some big hitting and those were those 8 sixes when you see 10 fours and 8 sixes, the majority of them coming into that and what a partnership that was. From 30 for 2 in the 6th over where Kings and Punjab were struggling, Ridhiman Saha had given them enormous hope with this particular knock and what a partnership, 129 run partnership between Mana Anvora and Ridhiman Saha. Ridhiman Saha was absolutely smoking the deliveries and Mana Anvora also as I said was playing in a very very fluent manner and that enabled them, they, they took on the score to 159 when Mana Anvora was finally dismissed, caught and bowled Chawla for 67 or 52 balls with 6 fours and 2 sixes and then today uh, Glenn Maxwell in fact uh, uh, when uh, when Mana Angura was out it was the 18th over uh, and Maxwell uh, came in and Maxwell uh, well what, what he did he just uh, tried to throw the bat at the ball and he was gone for a duck and in the end that was the score that Kingsland Punjab got on the board a winning score at that sorry uh, a score which was um, a very good score at that 199 for 4 of 20 overs out of which the lion's share was by Ridhiman Saha the wicket keeper not out on 115 of just 55 deliveries with 10 fours and 8 sixes and he brought up his half century I think in his century in his 49th delivery I suppose let's have a look at the bowling figures as far as the Kolkata Knight Riders were concerned Mone Immortal 4 overs for 40 runs without a wicket Umesh Yadav, 4 overs, 1 for 39. Sunil Nareen, can you expect this? I mean, uh, very rarely one has seen uh, Sunil Nareen in the Indian Premier League. Leaking runs are plenty, but Ridhiman Saha was the man who put his, put the uh, the Sunil Nareen and Piyush Chawla's attack to the sword here. 4 overs, no made in 1 for 46. Piyush Chawla, 4 overs for 44 runs and 2 wickets. And Shakib Al Hassan uh, was the most economical bowler uh, in the Kings for the uh, Kolkata Knight Riders bowling 4 overs for 26 runs. Now, the target before Kolkata Knight Riders was uh, 200 runs, a magical figure of 200 to win. Well, Robin Utapa and got them, we all about Robin Utapa, he has got the orange cap. Uh, he had a um, lot of expectation of that. He was playing on his home ground at the Chinnaswamy Stadium in Bangalore. But, uh, well, unfortunately today, Robin Utapa disappointed. In fact, he was out in the very first over. First, he drove. Uh, beautifully through the extra cover region for a boundary but uh, Johnson had his man as uh, Johnson got Utapa to spoon a drive and he was gone caught for tail bowl Johnson for five which, which has been pretty rare one has never seen Robin Utapa fail but today he definitely failed in the crunch game he was gone for five and then it was left to Gautam Gam Gambhir and Pandey to slowly uh, get things moving in the sense they couldn't really as take full advantage out of the power play but what they did best was try to nurdle the runs and and what was uh, we, uh, what one saw was that the running between the wickets uh, was uh, pretty good and pretty secure and Gambhir and Pandey uh, was doing some very good running between the wickets taking the singles pretty quickly and Gautam Gambhir uh, had contributed 23 that was the time the uh, the another uh, promising leg spinner Karanveer Singh uh, was unleashed and Karanveer Singh didn't disappoint as he definitely got a lot of tap. Manish Pandey went after Karanveer Singh by depositing him for sixes. Uh, Gambhir, well, uh, uh, Gambhir was the first wicket to go as uh, Karanveer Singh, the leg spinner, first took the wicket of Gautam Gambhir for 23 of 17 balls with three fours and then Manish Pandey was left with Yusuf Pathan. So Gambhir was gone in the seventh over with the Kolkata Knight Rider score on 59 so 59 for 2 so absolutely even Stevens if you see both the innings uh, the only reason uh, the only difference being 
the Kingsland Punjab had lost two wickets for 30 runs and so Gandhan Gambir was gone. After that in walked in Irfan Patan. Uh, well he just had his eye in Irfan, sorry, Yusuf Patan sorry and Manish Pandey well he decided that uh, there is no point in just uh, being at the wicket and slowly Manish Pandey was growing in confidence uh, time and again as he started unveiling his strokes uh, but one bowler who stood out amidst all this was Akshar Patel the promising spinner who bowled four overs his full quota for 21 runs and as you know he has already made his uh, uh, you know place into the Indian team as you know uh, and uh, Akshar Patel four overs no made a none for 21 what a baller Akshar Patel has turned out to be uh, and he was definitely chosen as the most promising player of the Indian Premier League and why not he definitely deserved it and as I said Manish Pandey and Yusuf Patan and Patan, dis uh, Patan was a person uh, who decided to deal only in sixes first he hit two sixes of the morning of Karan Singh. Singh. Uh, then he hit El Balaji over the left side for sixes and he also uh, smited the, uh, I thought it was uh, Par Parvindravana over the, over the fence for a six and Yusuf Patan after making 36 of 22 balls with four sixes was a goner as he was caught by Maxwell at the, at the fence absolutely at the edge of the fence of the of the bowling of Karan Veer Singh for 36 but the good thing for the Kolkata Knight Riders Manish Pandey was looking absolutely uh, in a, so he, he was looking in a very good hitting mood and he was stroking the ball to a nicety and that was very very good to see after suddenly there was a bit of a pressure in fact when Yusuf Patan was gone uh, suddenly the Kolkata Knight Riders uh, started collapsing uh, even though Manish Pandey was still there Shakib Hassan was run out by Bailey for 12 of 7 balls with 2 4 Ryan Tendo Shant was uh, dismissed by Karanveer Singh for 4 and then as I said Surya Kumar Yadav fell into that penultimate over and that was the time which I told you in the initial stage 15 runs for record of 12 balls Suresh Yadav's wicket was taken and the, sorry Surya Kumar Yadav's wicket was taken and that was real pressure at 187 for 7 but that Pius Chavla 6 in the penultimate over of Johnson and that too of the final delivery really changed things for the Kolkata Knight Riders and then finally Pius Chavla saw to it that he was the man who hit the winning, uh, winning run as he remained not out but also Manish Pandey contributing 94 of 50 balls with 7 4s and 6 6s was a victim of Karanveer Singh Karanveer Singh had a rich haul of 4 overs no maiden 54 runs and 4 wickets and finally once Pius Chavla hit the ball through point that was Kolkata Knight Riders getting their second Indian Premier League uh, title as now they are the champions of the Indian Premier League 2014 what a match but as I said the spectators definitely had their worth their money's worth uh, with the match going the distance and as I said this is what people come here and uh, I mean one is very happy that the Indian Premier League final finished in such a manner let's have a look at the bowling figures as far as Kingsland and Punjab innings were concerned uh, uh, bowlers were concerned uh, Mitchell Johnson 4 overs 2 for 41 Balaji bowled 4 overs for 41 Parveen Dravana was uh, uh, has uh, really really you know uh, has not really really uh, looked the bowler he was uh, in the initial stages that he was in the Indian Premier League 3.3 overs no made and none for 43 for him Karambir Singh uh, definitely leaked runs but picked up 4 wickets for 54 and Akshar Patel those figures really really stand out the left arm spinner Akshar Patel 4 overs no made and none for 21 the player of the match went to Manish Pandey uh, for his brilliant uh, 94 runs of 50 balls with 7 4s and 6 6s and the man of the series well one was probably thinking it would be Robin Utapa but well it was decided that the man of the match, the man of the series would go to Glenn Maxwell of Kings 11 Punjab. Now uh, just let's also have a look now uh, so the Indian Premier League 2014 is all done and dusted now so I'm just going to go back and I'm going to tell you what are the awards that were given uh, because as I said today was the uh, Indian Premier League final so uh, there were a lot of other awards that were there like most number of sixes that were being scored so I'm going to really really uh, just uh, you know just go through that uh, and tell you dear fans and fans and subscribers 
uh, as to really, really who are the winners uh, on, on that. Well, the best catch of the season went to Kieran Pollard. Uh, he, for his catch that he took of Kevon Cooper, uh, then Glenn Maxwell got the maximum, the award for the maximum sixes the season. Akshar Patel, as I said, won the Emerging Player Award, and why not? Uh, and uh, Mohit Sharma was given the purple cap. Uh, well, there is, there's, there's nothing much to really, really share, uh, but uh, now it's all over. The Indian Premier League 2014 has finally ended. Kolkata Knight Riders were the proud victors and that and and this is their second title second indian premier league title uh, and uh, what a game we had well dear fans and subscribers i think i waxed uh, absolutely eloquent about uh, this particular match so now things would really shift probably um, you know the the you all know that i would definitely be coming for my next cricket show tomorrow no doubt about that but um, the focus uh, would be on the 5th One Day International, uh, which is going to be played on 3rd of June between England and Sri Lanka, with the series level at 2-2. And, you know, I would say this series between, this One Day International series between Sri Lanka and England has been absolutely fantastic. Because both the teams are giving nothing away, and the matches are turning out to be a real, real exciting stuff. Well, dear fans, friends and subscribers, that brings an end to the Cricket Happening show of mine this on a Sunday. Hope to see you all tomorrow on my next Cricket Happening show. Until then, this is until then, it's goodbye from Ram's Cricket Happenings Studios. Thank you.